Hey guys, Jorge Silvestrini here. I recorded a short video a while back in Spanish about articulations, so decided to as well do it now in, in English. So here we go. How do we add articulations um, in Finale 2012? Let's start with a simple um, score. So we're just going to create something blank, blank staff, let's call it articulations. Yeah, a little bit of credit. We're just going to create something very simple. It's only two measures. We're going to keep it in the key of C. Uh, perfect. Just going to make this huge. I'm going to go to the, that was the score, and this is the part. So it doesn't matter where you are. Um, we're, I'm just going to go ahead and do it in the part. I'm going to write something very simple. Oops. So pretty much we know what this is. We have our melody, whatever that is. And um, first thing is we're going to use the articulation tool. Da -da, duh. No, nothing complicated about this. We just go grab it, double click on the note or, or click on the note, and we're going to get this box. And inside of this box, all the articulations are there. Okay, so if we're doing attacks, if we're doing short, uh, bird's eye, everything is here. Um, parentheses, I mean, I mean all of them. Then, then and if you're writing uh, for brass, you have drops and certain other things. So to add one is as simple as selecting the one that you want, pressing select or, or return enter in your keyboard, or just clicking it. And done and then once you've at one you can go ahead and grab them and you can move them with your arrow keys you can do whatever you want with them you can also right click and then relink and it will go back to where it is so let's get into something else once we're typing the notes that this is another way of doing it so let's say I've already finished typing the first um, measure and now I'm going to type the second measure and I know I wanted a quarter note there and I wanted to make that one short if you're using a, a bigger keyboard with the numeric keypad uh, you could just go ahead and grab on the numeric keypad the uh, asterisk press that and in here you're gonna see this waiting for input it's actually waiting for me to tell it the shortcut so if I know the shortcut for short is S, and I type S, it's going to write a dot. And that is very simple when you're entering your notes. Q, one more note, shortcut. If you don't know the shortcut, then all you got to do is press Enter, and you're going to get the same box. Then if you look closely, most of them are going to have a shortcut. Attack. Uh, most of them are going to have these letters, which are your shortcuts. So let's put Y. You cannot use the shortcut once you're in the box. So now asterisk Y is going to give me that. And then if I need to move it, I can move it to wherever I need to move it. Okay. So that's another way. And then this is uh, a little bit more advanced now. If you are using your laptop, what you will need to do is... Um, you are in your simple entry here, and you could go into this menu. You could go into the options, edit your keyboard shortcuts. Okay, you're in simple entry, and you could go ahead and add a keyboard shortcut to the articulations. Because you're saying why? Because in, the, in your laptop, you're not going to have the numeric keypad, the asterisk. So just add one, go all the way down, and you can actually add as many as you need. Uh, you can use this tip for anything else. But for articulations, go all the way down, 
add change items articulation. You're going to click that. You're going to go ahead and click where it says the key. And for example, just use your tilde. It's right below your escape. Press OK. Press OK. And now press OK one more time. And now let's say that I want to go into this note. I press my tilde key. And there we go. I have that box. And now I could just press whatever it is that I need. Again, tilde key and boom. Okay, so this is a very easy way, quick way of adding articulations uh, to your parts in Finale, to your score in Finale. Any more questions, any more uh, things that you would like me to show you, just drop me an email at me at jorgesilvestrini.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at jsilvestrini. Ask me questions there um, and keep coming to the website. Just visit the website. Regularly, I'm adding a bunch of tutorials every week. So hope to see you again very soon in, a, in another tutorial, maybe for Pro Tools, maybe for Ableton Live, maybe some music theory. Don't know. Just, just ask me. Ask me what would you like to, to see, and um, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Okay? So again, this is Jorge, hoping to see you very soon again.